All right, man, we're going to do a little bit of something different today, man. I'm showing you my RBI baseball. Uh, been playing baseball game here on RBI baseball on PlayStation. On I'm sorry, on Xbox. And as you can see, man, I played with the Dodgers, and I went nuts. 152 wins, 10 losses. I ended up playing a, a full game season on accident. Won 102 some odd games in a row. But that's that. It is time to upgrade to the show. 21 with my man Fernando Tatis Jr. on the cover. And it is time to take those Dodgers into the real deal over here. And we're going to do a little bit of something different, man. I like baseball games more than I actually like baseball. But we're going to play with the Dodgers. I know. I know. Hey, listen. I grew up on the Dodgers as a kid. So we're going to play with the hometown team. We got Clayton Kershaw on the mound throwing it. And uh, this is me just adjusting to the game. I don't know how to play this game. But this is the first time I played the game. And I'm working on my fielding. And uh, the first time, man, everything's the first time I'm working on my hitting, my pitching, and my fielding. And as you can see, man, uh, we, we hit to the, they hit to the shortstop, quick throw out to first base. First time I ever did it. And it is what it is. Uh, the pitching is pretty easy to pick up on. As you can see, Kershaw striking out. I'm striking out people in my first inning and already throwing out people at the back. So I don't know. Maybe it's Clayton Kershaw, but it's good to have him at least uh, for your first time going out on the mound. Now, my hitting, on the other hand, as you can tell, holy mackerel, even with Mookie Betts up here, it looks like a complete disaster. Look at this <laughs> swinging early. Some baseball games have it. So, see, there you go. I, I actually figured it out. Some baseball games have it to where you when you press the button, they go into their kick, and then they go into their swing. Well, this one, they have it so you swing, and uh, it's quick enough for you to uh, hit the ball as the ball's approaching you. So there you see Corey Seager getting on the bag uh, for a base hit. Not too bad. Not too bad. Picking it up in the first inning, but still I'm having some problems. And as you can see right there, I got Bellinger striking out wild. I got to get my timing down, as you can see. But look, not too bad. At least I got Kershaw coming back to the mound. And as you can see, mowing him down. I haven't kept count of how many strikeouts that uh, Kershaw has. But I'm thinking it's about three at this particular point. Throwing him out here, working on my fielding. Hit outside right there into right field. I'm sorry, left field. And uh, not too bad. Got it all taken care of. And Kershaw back on the mound. Pitching it out there with the left. And that's going to be problematic, man. And that's going to be gone on the over the short fence at Dodger Stadium. And no need to climb over the fence on that one. Tampa Bay gets a home run. And they're up 1-0. I'm going to imagine for the first time I'm playing this game, it's going to be something like this. Kershaw recovers and gets a strikeout to end the inning. And we go out, okay? I got one hit. They got one hit. But their hit was a home run. And uh, we're here in the second inning seeing if I can get my timing down. And not bad. We get the ball out, and it's a throw out. <laughs> it's not too bad. They caught it. But at least I got my bat on the ball, and I'm getting better here. Kershaw back on the mound. It's good to have him. And look at him. He got them tripping. And stumbling and tripping and stumbling. Kershaw throwing it again, seeing if I can get a field here, right here. Shortstop throws it out. First base, not too bad. Hey, some of these things are natural if you played some of these games, but I'm going to tell you the hitting is where I have problems. The pitching, not so much, but it's always good to have Kershaw. And he has got to have stricken out, strucken out. How many players here? Six batters. Struck out six batters in the first three innings. Not too bad. And there is Bellinger, I believe, and he gets his bat on the ball over the head. And he's rounding first base all the way to second place. So, I'm sorry, that's Kershaw. It's not Bellinger. Our pitcher, the star of the game, Kershaw gets uh, a double out. And uh, he's leading the charge for our batters today. There's Mookie Betts getting it out here. Hit out to the field and going to third, ba uh, third base. We have uh, two people on. Not too bad. And Corey Sager hits the ball, and he hits it out into the field there. And there's going to be two runs that are going to score all the way around. Let's see if they can get a pass the whole plate. And 
Nothing there. Mookie Bet slides in, and Corey Sager is enjoying it. Two to one, Tampa Bay. Hey, who thought I would be here? And here we go. We got a big bat on the ball with a person at second base, and it's gone. Home run. Who is that? Max Muncy. Let me see here. Oh, it's Turner. It's Turner. Turner gets a, a two-run home run. And here we go, following it up all the way out. And it is not gone. All right? They caught it. And there we go. So not bad. Look at it. Four hits, four runs, and uh, no errors. And we're in business. So all I got to do is let Kershaw do his job. I'm going to hit it out to Mookie Betts and see if he can handle it. Look, my fielding is kind of off. Uh, the the uh, joystick, the controller. Yeah, I said joystick. The controller gives me a little bit of feedback as he's approaching that. And then that's going to be the end of the inning. We're in here in the bottom of the fourth. Hit out, and it is gone. Home run. Home run. It is five to one. And I think that is, I want to say it's Muncie, if I'm not sure. If I, yeah, it is. So, 5-1, Dodgers. And as you can see, man, I need to brush up on my roster before I come out here and do voiceovers. And we got a hit out, and it's over the head, rounding second base, and the easy slide in. I think that's Corey Seager, Seager and he's doing well. There's Clayton Kershaw looking to take the ball out, and he doesn't. And it's two outs. And he tags up, and it looks like once he gets thrown out. I lost track of who was on base, but it is what it is. <laughs> I promise I'll get better here on the uh, voiceovers uh, related to this game. All right, here we go. Corey Sager, he's up. So it wasn't Sager on the base, and he's making sure it stays fair inside the foul pole and gone. Corey Sager opens up with a home run. I'm going to tell you what, man, he's having the game of his life. At this particular point, solo home run. It is six to one in the fifth inning. And it looks like I'm gonna win my first game, but not so fast. Clayton Kershaw is up here, and he lets one get out of the park so much for we're about to win the game. They cut the lead down and get a big home run. I think this is his second home run. So not a bad deal. And this, look, man, if we lose this game, it's not too bad. But if we win, we win. But let me tell you what's happening here. I started the game off as a beginner, but I got it to where they will progressively up your rating. And look at this. Mookie Betts misplays the field, and he stumbles and falls. And around second base, he goes all the way to third base. Mookie Betts throws it to the second baseman, and that's a disaster. So here we go. They're looking to bat one in. And this is when Tampa Bay gets another score. So it is six to three. Going into the bottom of the sixth inning. Muncie back up. Over the wall and into the bullpen. Gone. Dodgers. Muncie. His second home run, I believe, or at least his second score, 425 plus feet outside Dodger Stadium. And that is the way to do it. I believe that's his second home run. I'm going to keep stats the next time. Tampa Bay back up. Hitting into the outfield and caught by Mookie Betts. Uh, but what I was saying earlier was I think that uh, what I did was I started as a beginner. But I got the progressive um, escalating skill level. So your skill basically uh, the, the game elevates your skill along the way as you improve. So I think I got to notice in during this game that they elevated my skill level. And as you can see, Tampa Bay, no quit. They hit it out. Home run. So now it is 7-4. to four, And we got quite a game here in the seventh inning with Tampa Bay looking to strike the Dodgers and hit a comeback here. Clayton Kershaw, we need to check if he's ready to go. Kershaw looking like he wants to finish the inning. Let's see what Tampa does. And he gets the strikeout. And he sits down, and we head to the seventh inning stretch with the Dodgers up 7-4. to four. And so what I'm working on is uh, mostly time, and I'm going to substitute Kershaw off and let uh, Matt Beatty come up and pinch hit for the Dodgers 
and see what we can get. Give Kershaw a rest. He did a good job, and he hits it out. Up oh, high, and it is caught, but no big deal. Kershaw gets a rest, and we're going to have to bring in a reliever for the rest of the game. Sager hits it to second base, and he is thrown out. And the, the Tampa Bay Rays have a possibility of, of, of coming back in this game with two innings remaining. Uh, we bring in our relief pitcher. He's in, and uh, for some reason, he gets a strikeout, and he's coming in uh, mowing them down. And we're looking to, uh, let's see here. They hit it high. It might be out and over the head, and he catches it. And he's into second base, so he doesn't catch it. And um, Jansen gives up a big double here in the eighth inning. So Jansen with this final throw here in the eighth inning, and the ball is hit up in the air, pop fly, in the foul territory, and it is caught to end the inning. And Jansen escapes, potentially giving up another run. The Dodgers are up 7-4 to four going into the ninth inning. Jansen back in. To finish the game, to finish the job, he gets one strikeout. And we're down to two outs remaining with the Dodgers up. There's the second strikeout. Jansen is ready to go, coming in for relief here to Kershaw. And one more strike with the 7-4 lead. And there it is. It is hit out and over to Mookie Betts. And he makes the catch to end the game. What do you think, man? It's my first game, my first time commentating for uh, the show. I did RBI Baseball. I did a game for that one. But first time commentating for the show, I get to get my roster down, and not bad. That's my first time playing the game. Corey Sager is the player of the game. Of course, Clayton Kershaw picks up the W. And Justin Turner with a home run. Matt Muncy with a home run. I'm sorry, he had two home runs, like just like I thought. 